guess um, in your case, it's good to just punt to Tyreek and practice only, I guess. What's that? It's good to just hit it to Tyreek and just practice. You don't have to worry about it in a, in a game. Yeah, well, I've had some good success against Tyreek in the past, so he's a hell of a player. I know the team's excited to have him here, uh, but it's irrelevant who's back there as far as I'm concerned about how I do my job. What made you want to come to Miami? Look at this. Um, you know, uh, I had a, a great career in New Orleans, 12 years, um, Super Bowl, Pro Bowl. Um, and whenever I was done there, um, I just wasn't done. And uh, my kids are getting old enough now that they know what's going on. They got to see Dad uh, respond to getting fired and, and uh, having a little you know, having to persevere a little bit. So it was a good opportunity for me to show them how I thought was best to respond. Um, and they're old enough to know what's going on now. And, uh, you know, we wanted to provide them a great experience um, that hopefully they'll remember as a positive one. Um, go ahead. That was it. That was it. Go ahead. Uh, how quickly did this come about with, with the Dolphins? Um, quickly. Um, you know, I won't get too specific about it because it's team business, but, um, you know, I just, I actually reached out to them and just, you know, there was no punter on the roster and I thought, you know, Miami seems like a nice place to play. And, uh, so, you know, financially I was, you know, willing to take a veteran salary benefit deal and, uh, and I don't think they knew that. And so I just made it clear and they said, we'll get on a plane, come out here and see what, see if you like it. Um, you know, I've made a lot of money in my career, and um, these experiences are just, when it's over, it's over, you know? And uh, I love doing everything there is to it. I love the training. I love the grind of the workouts. Um, you know, obviously, I, I'm a little bit different than most, t my, uh, most of my teammates. I'm not uh, hitting a lot and things like that. Uh, at least if I'm doing my job well, I'm not. So, But I just love being a part of it. I love being dependent on and... Uh, it's special being a part of an NFL locker room, and especially when you have a first-year coach with, uh, you know, I think some reasonably high expectations. It's it's fun to be a part of that and be a part of building something and building culture. And so, just excited to be here. Practicing in the shadow of this stadium does it bring back guys. memories of what had to be the biggest play in your career. Yeah, I haven't been back here in 13 years. Last time I stepped off this field, we won the Super Bowl and had glitter all over my shoes, and uh, it was a great experience. Uh, eight years later, we played the Dolphins away in London, so I, didn't, I haven't been back. So uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back in the stadium. Uh, although it was a long, long time ago, there's certain, in certain ways it, it is just like yesterday. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to be back in there. What's the welcome been like for you from the coaching staff and players, uh, your first impressions of Coach McDaniel? Look, I, I just felt an authenticity from everybody I met here. Um, you know, the GM, I had a great conversation with him and it was all about, surprisingly, was had nothing to do with me doing my job. It was about what are you planning to do with the family? You know, how do you see this going for you? And uh, things that, that were of major value to me. And so that was really important. Uh, getting to meet Coach McDaniels is a super interesting guy. Uh, you know, it's my first time having a head coach that is um, my generation. And so it kind of feels like one of my buddies is the coach, which is kind of cool. Um, and it's cool to see people like him that are of a unique background uh, getting opportunities um, to do what they do and provide value and help build a team. Um, and so I've just felt that. And, and, and lastly, meeting with Coach Crossman was that was my number one kind of criteria for coming here. You know, if you don't have a, you know, you kind of get married to your coach or coaching staff when you join a team. And if you don't have a good uh, wife, your life sucks, right? So if you don't have a good marriage with your coach, uh, it can be a really crummy experience. I've experienced that once before and it's not ideal. And uh, it just, it sucks all the joy out of playing. And when, on the flip side, when you do have a good coach, somebody that you immediately gain a trust with it, there's nothing better than going to battle with somebody like that. So I'm, I'm excited to be here. I've felt nothing but love from coaches and players. And uh, I just hope to do my small part and uh, be accountable to the team.